Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and in this video I will show you how you can open and close a panel with one single button. Yeah, well, let's get to it! <laughs> so let's create that panel so we can open and close it with a button press. So. To the left here, let's create a UI panel. Let's scale it down a bit. Let's move it here to the left. And this panel we can call menu. And then we will need a button as well. Let's use a TextMess Pro button here. Let's move it down here to the left. And this button we can call, let's just name it here. We can call it open close because we will open close the panel with the same button. Um, on our menu, we will need as well a canvas group and this is a better way to, um, to show and hide a, a panel instead of um, you can set it active to true and false, then you will just turn this on and off. Uh, but when you turn this off, this object will not be in the scene. So if you have another script looking for this menu, then it will give a null reference because it can't see it in the scene. But if you, the, uh, the alpha is the one we will, uh, we will tweak in the script. So if you only set this to zero, then the menu uh, script or the menu uh, object here will still be in the scene so all other scripts will still be able to access this uh, here yeah so let's create a script for this let's create a C sharp script and we will just call this menu open close and uh, let it compile here and I will put it on my canvas Let's open it up in Visual Studio. Come on. Hang on for a second. There we go. It was on the screen. So the third thing that we will need here is of course at we will need a private uh, canvas group and this is the uh, the menu and when it's private you will not be able to access it from the from the inspector that's only if you make it public but i like to keep them as private and then we will just show as fields and then you can access a private from the inspector Yeah, then we will need to make the open and close function. So let's say we can delete the update and start function. We will not need, need that. So we can say public void uh, open close panel. And there we will say the panel.alpha. Oh. Uh, the menu, sorry, dot alpha is equal to uh, menu dot alpha less than zero, uh, and then it will be zero one like this. So oh, sorry, this needs to be uh, zero like that. So what this means is, it's actually an if statement. So it will take the alpha that we have on the menu. This is the, so if I put it over here, so let, let me do this so you'll understand it better. Uh, like this. So here we have the menu. And on that one, we will have a canvas group. The canvas group we have over here. And then we will access the alpha, the one we have here. And our alpha is equal to 
the state that we have on the alpha. So if it is zero, it will turn it to one, to one. But if it is one, it will take it to zero. So it's actually an easy way to write an if statement. The same way we have to do for the block raycast. What the block raycast is, is when you have, um, when the panel is open, you should not be able to click uh, something behind the panel. But when you turn it off, uh, you should not be able to click on the panel. So then you have to t turn it off or on, sorry. So to do that, we again need to say menu. Yeah. Now we need to access the block raycast instead. And that is equal to the menu dot block raycast. And we will set it to true, else it will be false. But if it is false, it should be true like this. So this is what you need for this. So let's go save it and head back to Unity. Go to the canvas uh, up here. Now you can see it's looking for a menu here. Let's drag down the menu on the button we made here. On the unclick, hit the plus sign, drag down your canvas. Uh, in functions, go to menu, open close, and let's choose the open close panel. So now when we hit the play button, and because it's already is on, it will turn off. If you hit it again, it will turn on. And as I said, it will automatically figure out what are the states. So remember, do not turn it off up here because then it will not work. You can go here, set it to zero, remove the block raycast, hit the play button and it should work when I hit the button again. It will turn it on because it was off when I started. So yeah, that was uh, what I would like to show you in uh, this video. Um, thanks a lot for watching and uh, remember if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you and see you next time.